All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the final session of Forza Horizon 4. Why is this the final session? There's a few reasons. I've been playing this game for about a month on and off since it released in early October 2018. And even though it's been one of the most chill streams I've done, there's a couple reasons why I'm ending the playthrough. The first is there's really not that much left to do as I'd like to show you guys right now. Um, and we take a look at the map. There's not much else going on in the realm of the game. If you actually take a look... Um, Hold on a second while I go into options. Okay. Okay. Okay, there we go. So, number one, as I'm about to show you on the map, there's not much to do. In fact, in the realm of new stuff, there's almost nothing. There's one barn find that we can do over here, which is probably where I'll head. Uh, head over there and see if there's anything along the way, like uh, any billboards. But I'll probably head over there to look for this barn find. That's number one. Um, outside of that, a few random off-road, you know, cross-country missions. Maybe a new house or two to try to buy. But there's nothing in the realm. There's no story anymore. I've already done all the big stunt things like this, the showcases. There's really not that much left to do besides randomness. And even though the game's been fun and chill and I've enjoyed doing it, you know, at least every time I played it... Oh, here's a new showcase event. Here's a new story campaign. There's been a variety of stuff to do. Now it seems like there won't be any more. So that kind of limits me what I could do with the game. And I don't think I would want to keep playing it if there's nothing original unlocking anymore. That's number one. Number two... The game... I can't play it anymore on YouTube. I was just telling my stream about this. Uh, even though this game has a streamer mode, which I just enabled. Enable streamer mode, which is supposed to give you, like... like Content ID free music like like royalty free music so you could either stream this on Twitch or record it and upload it to YouTube All the videos of this game that I uploaded to YouTube last week got content ID matched and claimed and I made no money on them And it's like I've been playing the game for a fucking month using the same soundtrack now it gets claimed It doesn't make any fucking sense so I think it's just like for all intents and purposes Everything is coming together at once. This is the final session of the game. You know what I mean? Okay, so target stalker did a 50 bit cheers at shirt number five. I don't know what that means. The goat Lucas cheered 50 bits. He says, Hey, film, love the red that played through. Only in part seven, I had a heart attack when I saw how far behind I am. Yeah, you are very far behind. The game has, at least I'm 50 plus parts into it, and every part's around an hour. So I'm literally almost at 50 hours of gameplay, and I'm still not done. The game is that damn long. So I think it should be important to say. When I say this, that's not repetitive side content. That's all original content. Like, every side mission I've done has been original. It's not like, oh, boring garbage gameplay, you know, repetitive shit that you don't want to do. It's pretty interesting. So, all right. Message center. What do I got in my message center for this week? Gifts. I got a gift. Gifted clothing. The DOTDT3. Oh, boy. And my business payout. I've made 53,000 credits since the last session. How exciting. All right. Turn around when it is safe to do so. All right, so here we go. Ah. Let's drive and see what we can find along the way, but I think we're going to try to find a new barn car. It's the first thing we should do, because if we get a barn car now, by the end of this session, there might be another unlocked barn car to find. So. All right, here we go. We're off. As you can see, it's winter in-game every week, remember? This game changes the climate. And right now, we're in the winter season for the final, uh, 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 the final stream. In fact, I think I've only been in the winter season once. If not, maybe twice, but I think it was only once. So it'll actually be pretty interesting to see how this affects stuff. What's up, Kate? Good to see you tonight. She's just excited for Hitman 2. Whoops. I, I lose a control, lose a control, lose a control. Ha 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 ha. Okay. All right, Swaggin. Sorry to hear that your chat band command is broken. Um, no problem if you accidentally do a mistake and have to fix it. It's cool. What can you do, right? Alrighty then. What's that? OQ says, drive a BMW M3 all blacked out. Orion Rogue says, I'm all about the power wagon. Uh, this thing has, like, no handling. I can't stop myself. That's also because it's supposed to be icy roads. You know, icy road conditions. So as you're driving faster, you can't actually stop yourself. Yeah. 
Cool. Wow, Flying Fatboy says, I'm new to Twitch. What other streamers are like DSP? None. And I mean that. You watch other streamers, they're not like me. They're not. I am an original because I've been around for 10 freaking years doing it the way that I do it. Uh, many others do it very differently. I'm not saying what they do is better or worse. But, you know, people come watch me for a reason. Oh, DJ Bruno Chitty says, you shouldn't stream chat and drive. That's all I do in this game. I re stream chat and interact with you guys and I drive. And I drive off the road constantly. That's pretty much the entirety of my playthrough. <laughs> okay. In fact, let me up the volume a little bit in the game. Just a little bit, though. How about that? There we go. A little bit more for you guys. Ta! Pokemon Black says, Why don't you have 30,000 viewers like Dr. Disrespect, Phil? Well, let's see, because I'm not virally popular for stupid reason. Because I'm not playing virally popular games. That's probably why. At the roundabout, take the second exit. DJ Runo asked, do I know how to drift? Gee, let's see if I can drift in this car. I don't know if I can drift in this, in this tunnel here. There you go. A little bit of a drift. You like ice skating? Yeah, neither do another I. Another one? But I've got another abandoned car rumor down by the oh. lake. Meet you there. There's a winter... So let's do this barn find first, then let's do the winter barn find. There's two back to back. Ah, oh, fuck. The... Oh my god. <laughs> I'm getting rocked. I'm getting rocked. See, like, there are other streamers who do chill streams, but what I find is, like, they don't really focus on the game at all. It's just them kind of digging around and just doing random shit. Some of them will, like, fucking smoke up and shit during the streams. I'm not like that. Like, at least, when I do a chill stream, I'm at least gonna still kind of pay attention to the game. You know what I mean? But it is more about interacting with you guys, too. It's kind of a combination. Some people are here actually to see a game, so. Alright, I got the fast Place travel door. So. Okay, so let's see if we can find this barn car. Uh, Alright, certainly not going to be in the tunnel. It's going to be up here. For a barn. Oh, I don't see it out here. Now the game feels like the game is too loud. I'm yelling. The game is too loud. I can lower it. I'll lower my headphones too. My bad. It, it depends on the game too. Like when I'm playing, a, is that the barn right there? That's it. Yeah. When I'm playing a driving game, I hear the constant roar of the engine and everything, so I, I talk a little bit louder than if I'm playing a different game. I think. How come you Shit. always find these things before me? I, I, it's not like I'm not looking. I wonder what the hell this is going to be. <clears throat> what will it be? What will it be? What the, what the hell is that? That's an old ass car. That's an MG. An MGB GT, in fact. It's a brilliant little sports car made right here in Britain, is what I'm saying. Hmm. Whatever they were trying to do to the engine didn't go so well, did it? Hmm. All right, Swaggins is asking me. I'll uh, go what... put all the pieces back in and call you when it's done. Swang is asking me, have I, have I done any, uh, have I seen any new movies recently? And the answer there is yes. In fact, I just watched, um, Jigsaw. Which was, of all things, the continuation of the Saw franchise. It makes no sense because they were supposed to be retiring it, yet they, they fucking made another movie anyway. Um, and I, honestly, I'll be honest with you guys, I didn't really like it that much. I thought it was an ongoing mystery, but then when you actually found out what was going on, because the whole mystery of the movie is that Jigsaw's alive. Which makes no sense. He died in the in the original movies like a million years ago. But it was just really lame. I don't want to spoil it for any of you who are going to watch it. But I really didn't like it that much. I was pretty pissed off. Okay. Alright. Green cargo pants. How exciting. I'm so glad that I did that spin. <laughs> All right. In 400 yards, turn left 
describe the ending. All right, if you guys actually want me to spoil the end of Jigsaw to explain to you how bad the movie is, I will. Turn left. But it's up to you guys. I don't want to spoil to anyone who's actually going to see it. So let me, let's take a poll in stream chat. Do you guys want to see me, do you want to hear Jigsaw, like what it's about? Or do you want me to not spoil it? Let me know. Recalculating route. Most people are saying to rip it into an asshole. <laughs> If you guys are okay with it, I'll do it. But only if you're okay with it. Alright, most people are saying to, to, to talk about it. Alright. So, the whole premise of the movie is that somehow J the Jigsaw Killer, who's the guy who did all the killings in Saw, is still alive somehow. Which makes no sense, because as I said, in the original movies, he died in like the third movie. And even though there were always flashbacks and other people who were like copycat killers or people who were working with him to continue his legacy, he was always dead. Yeah, in this movie, they're directly showing him doing stuff. It's like, so he's alive? No. So the, what's actually happening is they're showing you a completely parallel plot line to what's actually going on in the movie. There's a, there's a killer in present day, and there's a killer in the past, the Jigsaw killer in the past. So you're watching them side by side thinking, oh, they took place at the same time. In reality, they didn't, which is really fucking lame. And then come to find out, Jigsaw has been dead, which you knew. And there's a guy who was affected by him very, very early on during his career as a killer and decided that much later on for some reason that he would become a copycat. It makes no sense because if you actually watch the original movies, take the first exit. Jigsaw, if he had someone who wanted to work with him, probably would have been doing this stuff much earlier on. It doesn't make sense why years and years and years later, now he suddenly decides he wants to be a Jigsaw uh, follower or whatever and he wants to help him now after he's been dead for so long. But it's just really lame because the way they film the movie, they make you think that Jigsaw is still alive on purpose, like to fool you. And at the end of the movie, oh, we were just basically fucking with you the whole movie. It's just, that was, those were scenes from 10 years ago. And you're like, fuck this stupid movie. <laughs> There's a really bad bait and switch. Ouch, I got fucked. Ben Boxer, see that's true. Ben Boxer says, um, it's still loud. People say the game's still loud. Okay, hold on. There, I lowered it some more. Um, yeah, it is true, Ben Boxer, that in the latest Halloween movie, Jamie Lee Curtis came back, which makes no sense because she died in H2O. But it's basically a reboot. If you watch the movie, apparently they they basically retconned almost every single Halloween movie. It's supposed to be like a direct sequel to the first movie getting rid of all the other crappy sequels from the like the last 20 years so at least in that regard it made sense in this case it wasn't supposed to be a retcon sequel it was just supposed to be oh continuing the fucking saw movies with a new name even though it makes no sense because they said that they were over it was a really shitty cash grab movie wow target stalker cheered he said J.R.R. Tolkien's World War One unit suffered 85% casualties during the Battle of the Song. Very interesting. Swaggin says, uh, that most movies should be left alone after a certain point. Rarely will they ever, you know, you know exceed the originals with a reboot, although Halloween apparently was a pretty good movie. Yeah, I don't know, I didn't see it. Oh, nice. Very nice. In 400 yards. Yeah. Turn right. I gotta agree with that statement. Uh, case of pretty much the whole soft franchise is a cash grab except the first movie. Yeah, you can tell on the f that they get making shit up on the fly. Like you can tell that once you start watching the later Saw movies, you're like. There's no way that they had actually anticipated this would be part of the mainstream plotline of this when they started making it. There's no fucking way. They just added that shit in much later to make money. <laughs> Apparently there's a barn find on the fucking ice. Well, I should be able to see the barn then. Where is it? Where the fuck is this barn? A barn find on a fucking frozen lake and I can't see it. What the hell? Shout out to Sucker Surprise who just subscribed for the fourth month in a row. He said any friends should do another chill filled Jackbox party pack. Probably not. 
Higgity just shoots and I stopped playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey because it's too long and I lost track of what was going on. It's a good game, but it's too long. Do you agree? Um, what I would say is that the game is good. But, oh, there's the barn, by the way, in front of me. The game is good, but sadly, it does suffer from having so much in it that you can basically get sidetracked to the point where, like, you don't remember what's going on. And also, the game has too much necessary grinding. So I don't think the game's bad. I just think that it's not streamlined enough. It could be much better streamlined. Okay, I'm <clears> cut across the frozen lake to you. If I'm not there in 10 minutes, send the divers. Oh my god, it's even worse. Dude, I'm finding the worst cars. What is this? Look at that. A roof must have come down in the snow. Good thing it's a Range Rover. These things are invincible. Tell you what, if we get this fixed up before the winter's out, there's a lot of fun to be had. Yeah, right. A piece of shit old Range Rover. There's a lot of fun to be had, he says. Yeah, right. Now I have to figure out how to get it back to the garage. Hmm, I do like a challenge. Alright, what do we want to do? Because now I've done the barn cars that are available, right? There's really nothing else in this re region. Not really. I already did that. What's this? A dirt racing series. The Mortimer Garden Scramble. I guess we'll give it a shot since we're right near it. Why not? Dirt racing. Turn around when it is safe to do so. What's weird here is that it says it says it's 45 degrees Fahrenheit and fight 45 degrees Fahrenheit and sunny. Uh, I don't know if the game makers realize this, but that means that it's above freezing by a lot, and all the snow would be melting, which it's not. So I don't think they understand Fahrenheit temperatures. <laughs> Shout out to Two Bar King. Chris did 100 bit cheer. That is the top cheer of the night, Two Bar King, and I will get you up on the leaderboard momentarily here. Thank you very much for that. In 400 yards, turn right. In 200 yards, turn left. Ow. Fuck. Turn left. Like, no, really. If they were going to make the game in, in degrees Fahrenheit, safe to do so. shouldn't they have a knowledge of degrees Fahrenheit? Like, all this ice and snow should be melting right now. In 100 yards, turn right. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. You have arrived at your destination. The Mortimer Garden Scramble. All right, so before I enable this race, let's get Two Bar King up on the leaderboard as the top cheerer for tonight. <clears throat> there we go. Thank you. Thank you very much, Two Bar King, for the support. All right. Off roading. Third out of the third, just cheer. He said, Forza, fuck yeah. Forza, fuck yeah. You know what? I might drive the Mercedes Benz. It looks stupid as hell. I'm gonna drive it. I'm gonna drive the Benz. Shit, welcome to the dab side, sis. Has anyone ever called me not a real gamer? So how would I respond? I would just say they're idiots. This is stupid. Who is anyone to judge who anyone is or isn't a real gamer? You know, I'll, I'll, I'll say one thing. When I was starting on YouTube, I would basically say people who only played the Wii, not real gamers. And what I meant by that and what I should have said was they're not a hardcore gamer. They're not part of the hardcore gamer base that consistently plays video games and makes it profitable to play video games. It's just because you're not someone who's in mainstream gaming doesn't or, or isn't with people who play games all the time doesn't mean you're not a gamer you know what i mean um so i didn't misspeak back then but i think it's a pretty stupid and ignorant statement to say you're not a real gamer bro all right here we go wow this looks cool at night this looks really cool at night Real hard to drive because of the snow. Like I'm slipping like crazy. Oh my god, I'm slipping like crazy. Oh 
Oh boy. Sliding everywhere. It's funny because this is supposed to be a dirt race, but it's not. It's a fucking snow race. It's a completely different kind of race now. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do very well in this race. I can't really control this car. Gotta get out of here. <laughs> I'm starting to make. Oh, I was about to start making some headway and then I screwed up. Sliding everywhere. Might as well just give me some ice skates. Oh my god, that was terrible. What? I'm still. I can't believe I'm still in first. That means everyone else was going the wrong speed too. Damn. Third on the third says. Someone who got into gaming only because of Fortnite is not a real gamer. I disagree. I don't think that there's such a thing as a real gamer. What I would say is they're a fad gamer. Okay? Much like, I only play Call of Duty. I only play Madden. It's not they're not real gamers. They are. They're just a fad gamer. They play a game that's a fad. And they're not going to be playing all the mainstream big hits. You know what I mean? They're just going to jump on the fads and, and follow those. It's different. See, here's the thing. As a, as a culture, gaming is changing. It's a brand new thing from like the past 10 years where it's really become more mainstream and become incredibly profitable to the point now where gaming is part of main, mainstream life. You know what I mean? Before then it was kind of a fringe thing and it's really not anymore. So what the fuck? I didn't even, I didn't touch right bumper at all. I don't know what happened there. I didn't touch it. But anyway, um, naturally when you have something that's an emerging part of pop culture, it's going to evolve. And I think what's happened is we have people who were hardcore into gaming and into the big games and stuff like that. And they were considered real gamers or hardcore gamers but now we've got people who are much more casually into gaming and they got to be categorized as something else it's not that they're not real gamers it's just that they're not like the people who've been playing video games all along and get hyped for every big new release instead they're people who only play for a small niche audience of like bad like attention you know what i mean um i don't know what we want to term them i don't know what we want to term them or what we want to call them but they definitely exist. Oh, no, you don't. You're not passing me, asshole. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Alright, I made it. First place. Holy crap. <sighs> Let's see. XSXXXXXXXXX7. What a name. Uh, Cheer to say, you seem to enjoy talking about movies way more than games. Would you please consider doing movie reviews on stream? I'd love to hear your thoughts on new classic movies. Probably not, only because you can't show them. You know what I mean? I can't even show you a single clip of a movie that I've seen for fear of copyright issues. If I'm ever doing an interactive stream and you guys want to talk to me about movies, sure, it's fair game, but I doubt that I'm ever going to do anything just dedicated to it. Well, DJ Runo just cheered and said something racist about Germans, so I'm not going to say that. And third out of third, just cheered and said, holy crap, that first person view looks sick. I beg you, do one one race in first person. I really want me to. <laughs> okay. Got that MG running. Let me just finish marking up this event, and I'll meet you down there. The MG apparently is not working. Ooh, okay, what do I want to do now? See what I feel like? There's not a lot left to do. There's another dirt race called the Glen Rannick Trail. I guess we'll do that because it's straight ahead. Okay. Higgany just cheered. He said, do you think the lack of slasher movies of this generation has become too PC sensitive? Not PC sensitive. I think that they've become desensitized to gore. You know, movies like Saw, movies like Hostel. Hell, TV series like American Horror Story. They show you so much excessive gore at this point that you don't get shocked by gore anymore. Slasher movies end up becoming kind of boring, you know? So I think that that was something for a time before people were desensitized and were still shocked by gore. They're not anymore, and so those movies have kind of fallen out of favor. Here we go, I got a sign. Okay. 
Yes, Dapside, I did see the old Joel Schumacher Batman films. I own them. I own the entire Batman movie series. And, uh... Yeah, those are some pretty funny fucking movies, to say the least. Dark Knight the Third, uh, he said he's stream buffered. Yeah, I will do a, I'll do a race in FPS too if you want. Maybe this next race I'll do in first person view. The very next race I'll do. I'll probably do miserable. <laughs> no OQ, I do not currently listen to rap at all. I don't listen to music whatsoever. Although, with Christmas time right around the corner, I probably will start listening to Christmas carols and Christmas music soon. But I love getting into the festive spirit. Alright, here we go. Gonna be the same car, I guess. <sighs> no, I wanna drive the Willy the Willy's Jeep. Oh my god. Fuck yeah, I'll do it. Xbox Gamer just cheered. He said, did the beat go off? Did the beat go off? Let's get him up there. You are the top cheer. Well, tied for top cheer, Xbox Live Gamer. Actually, just Xbox Gamer. Excuse me, not Xbox Live Gamer. Okay. Everyone's driving a Jeep. Look, everyone's driving a shitty Jeep. All right, here we go. I'm going to go first person. Here it is. Oh my god, dude. A shitty, everyone's driving a shitty Jeep. I don't know how I feel about this. Dude, these Jeeps are mad slow. Oh shit. The Jeeps are so slow. They're not supposed to be this slow. The car's supposed to be much faster than this. Dude, I can't get any any fucking traction on these guys. Oh, stay right ahead of me. Get great clean racing, so they rear ended them. Somehow in third place, look look how far ahead they are. These top two. Hopefully I can catch up with them. I don't know. This is a, sh a shitty race for Jeeps. The Jeeps can't handle it. <laughs> no speed to the race at all. Look how slow. Oh my god, we're only going 30 miles per hour? Wow. Oh my god. The Jeep can't even make it up the hill. Look. The Jeep doesn't have the traction to do it. <laughs> wow. WJR says one of the better movies this year with a good twist ending was Upgrade. It's currently on demand. I've never heard of it. What kind of a movie is it? Is it a thriller? Is it a horror movie? Is it a suspense drama? What is it? Let me know. What's up, Detroit? Good to see you. Red Dead 2 was very good today. We're very close to the end of the game, I can tell. Because most of the side quests I'm doing are like the final side quests in a leg of side quests. But we're saying goodbye to our contacts and friends, so. Dude, we're only 36% done. Alright, I'm slowly catching up on these guys. Very slowly. Oh my god. We've only been driving like 25 to 30 miles per hour this whole race. Mostly because of, I think the snow and because the Jeep is slow as shit and has no traction. Oh my god. We're not even halfway done with the race yet. Oh my god. Oh. I cannot catch this guy. This whole race is going to be me looking at him. Looking at his ass and not catching up. Just 
can't get him. I'm trying. Oh my god, we're getting so much speed going downhill. Oh my god, 73. Oh, I can't catch this guy. Did I pass him? Holy shit, I passed him. Dude, I passed him with that fucking uh, big ass drift. <laughs> A first person sliding drift to pass the guy in first. Holy crap. They just call this one the fucking Ice Olympics. God, the window wiper went on. <laughs> the freaking window wiper went on. That was awesome. That was a cool touch. Fred Flintstone has reset for the 15 month in a row. says, yo, 15 months. Thank you, Fred Flintstone, for 15 months of support. Appreciate that, man. Alright. Oh boy. Alright. Dab, he does a dab. <laughs> the victory dab. So, DJ Bruno says they ha actually have the window wipers turn on when you hit the water, but there's no water effects on the weed shield. <laughs> That's true. Oh boy, I unlocked the Ram Power Wagon that I already have. Oh no! Quick draw emo! <laughs> bang bang! Alright. Not to show favorites at all, but you need to make it through this next round because we're planning something big for afterwards. Like, the biggest dirt route I've ever created big. Woohoo. Okay, where am I? Right here. <sighs> I've done ev almost everything out here. Here's one I haven't done. This is a cross-country series. That'll bring me south. I guess I'll do that because it's the closest. All right. Oh my god, excuse me. Oh, the Range oh, Rover's ready. ready for you down in the garage. Turn left. Look how silly you look at this car. Turn right. No pingdom, you're not allowed to bring up detractors and insult them on the stream. It's against the rules, please do not do it. All right, suck my cock. Totally his real name, took me a dolly, so I just watched your Final Fantasy X playthrough. Loved all of it, great commentary, laughed with my ass off. All right, suck my hawk. I will put you on the leaderboard soon. Uh, no OQ, I've never seen It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Never seen it. <sighs> Blah. I'm gonna wake up. Like I said, I'm very much getting the itis right now. Because I had giant a giant meatball grinder for dinner and I'm like super full. So I got that itis. Beppo Carrot just shares the DSP is moving up. Who no? Thank you very much, Beppo Carrot. The 
Vampiris just asked, what is my, the, my favorite fighting game of this generation? Oh, man. This generation. That's a tough question. That's a really tough question. Um, like, what fighting game did I play the most for this generation? I don't even know if I can answer that. Does any, could anyone even answer that question? I have no clue. Oh, uh, alright, so let's get Suck up here on the leaderboard. Thanks, Suck. Thanks for the dollar tip, Suck. Appreciate that. And Ben Boxer Tree said, have you watched Revenge of the Nerds? Do you identify with any characters in that? Um. Or does it remind me of anyone? No. <laughs> no. The Ridge Cross Country Circuit? Sport utility vehicles. I don't have one. Oh, shit. I have to buy a sport utility vehicle to do this race. I don't have one. Street Fighter? Mortal Kombat 10, maybe? Huh. This car is free. 752. But I could buy a better one. A Bentley. The, the Lamborghini is considered legendary level. Fuck it, I'll buy the Lambo. I got the money for it. So... Oh, I can only do red, huh? I guess we're doing red then. Okay. Poke Tournament? Yeah, I would say Poke Tournament. Killer Instinct I liked. It was just a shame that after a few weeks I was wondering what was going on with the game that didn't feel right online. And then come to find out the whole game was desyncing constantly and the, web, the netcode was shit. That was kind of sad. Alright, Popsicolo Trude asks, what's my opinion on Fat Albert? I used to watch it when I was a kid, but... I certainly know that I would watch again. <laughs> what's going on? Why can't I get the car? Uh... Uh... That took a long time. Hey, 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 it's Fat Albert. Bottom line, with Cosby in jail, I don't think anyone would want to watch Fat Albert in the modern era anyway. <laughs> so I got some prize, says... What Fed Albert character do you mostly identify with? Like I remember anyway. Uh, the guy who had the holes in his hat, but he he's, he used the, to look his eyeballs through his hat. So he wore his hat like a mask. That's the guy, whoever that is. There you go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. God damn you, P-Dog. How dare you blow by me right at the beginning of this race? Who do you think you are? A three-lap race. It's going to be tricky again with the snow. The traction is really tough. Go and get out of my way. Look, dude, we're not getting out of my way. Okay, here we go. Whoa! So much for quick, great clean racing. Alright, now I'm in second place after that. Holy crap, we're gonna jump this mountain? We are, look. We're gonna jump the mountain. Oh boy! Woohoo! What a jump, dude! Whoa! Look at that, I passed him on the jump. Damn. This is a three lap race? Pretty wild. Apparently I completed a challenge by doing that. I don't know. 
What's funny is I guess some people are trying to troll me in stream chat, but I'm, I have to focus on the game right now, so I'm seeing none of it. People are like through the giant paragraphs and stuff, and I, I see none of it at all. Now that sucks. Come on now, where'd that house come from? What a bunch of shit. Couldn't block, dude. Says gracias, gracias on the double dab, dude. Wouldn't like a double dab. It's like double dare. Only double dab. Double dab. It's double dab. Oh, this is the second lap now. All right. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. DJ Runo just cheered. He said, "If people were hooking stars as off-roaders, holy fuck, those could barely handle the road." Yeah. Well, you gotta remember, DJ Runo, it's winter. I'm in the middle of snow. Maybe if this were like a dirt race or whatever, it would be a lot easier. Like, it's very hard to handle the road with snow. Beppo Carrot cheers. Can I can I give a shout out to his friend Tobias? There you go. Shout out to Tobias. Wherever you may be watching. Perhaps you're in your bathroom on your toilet right now watching on your cell phone. Shout out to you. Maybe I can soften your stool with a nice fun shout out. This is not going to go well. Oh, shit. Yeah, I lost a lot of ground there. You can see guys are catching up with me. Oh shit. Uh. Oh, DJ Reno says he wasn't referencing just in game right now, he was saying in general these cars are kinda shitty. Yeah, yeah. Alright, well I wouldn't know that, DJ Reno. I like how the fence magically regrew itself in the middle of the race. I'd already wrecked that fence, yet it somehow was back up again. Third out of the third says, my eyes still bothering me? No, it's fine now. Sometimes that happens. I have, like, like messed up eyes sometimes where, like, you'll get irritated. It'll start watering and fucking closing on me. And I gotta, like, close it for, like, a minute or two for it to stop doing that. Stop burning. It's annoying. Oh, it's annoying, but I live with it. <sighs> God damn, the itis. I got the itis, man. I got the itis. Everyone's right on my butt. I heard them right there. I heard, I heard them right there in the, in the background. They're right behind me. I was trying to read WJR's synopsis of, of this movie Upgrade, and when I did, I started kidding things, and now this guy passed me. God damn it. This sucks. Oh my god! Two of them jumped over me. Well, this really stinks. I'm gonna get third place now, at least. I have no idea why they got so much speed on me. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Much better. Oh my god, can I catch this guy? Oh god, no! Oh. No, come on, go, 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 go! Come on! Come on, no! Oh my god, yes! Yes! Wow! Last minute. Last minute. Nice. God damn. Third other surgery, what's the itis joke about? You should check out uh the boondocks and then you would know what the itis is. Alright. Fuck. Hey look! My avatar is wearing the two-year sub crown from Twitch. He's wearing the two-year sub crown right now. 
Very nice. Tubar King just did a celebra celebratory 100 bit cheer. Thank you, Tubar King. I missed a checkpoint. Freeze unlocked. <laughs> Trudy to Trudy said, holy crap, that was an epic finish. I know they say the destination is not as important as the journey, but here are a bunch of new destinations from which to start journeys. Let's start round six, shall we? Okay. <sighs> I don't even know what I want to do now. Where am I? I'm there. There's like, see what I mean? Like, there's nothing to do. Kind of boring at this point. Maybe we'll head into the city. I see a lot of races in the city. So maybe I'll head into the city. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh. Turn around. Uh, excuse me. A new car has been added to my garage. See if I can get that one, and if not, see if I can get this one, and then head to the city, I guess. <clears throat> All right, going the wrong Turn way. Around when it is safe to do so. <clears throat> Whoa! I don't know what that was. Yards. Turn right. Couldn't block dude just cheered and said good to see you having fun. Thank you very much. Like I said, it's so ch it's chill. I don't really have to worry too much. If I didn't win that last race, it wasn't the end of the world, you know what I mean? But it was still fun to try to win it. The calming music is so nice. Really you play a game with such such calming music. says I should watch The Walking Dead because he wants to know my opinion on the way things played out. Um, I don't know if or when I'm ever going to watch it. Like, I'm being honest with you. I watched the first episode this season. I was so fucking bored. I barely finished it. I, that show just doesn't even interest me anymore. That's a classic, I, uh, that's a classic example of a show that long overstated its welcome and the, the more it veered from the source material, the worse the show got. And now the show just fucking sucks. I'm so bored with it. Alright. <clears throat> At the roundabout, take the first exit. Three thousand influence board. Okay, fuck. What's this? A new Horizon wheel spin. Oh boy. Come on, give me a fucking clown nose or, you know, a fucking cod piece that looks like a floppy dildo or something. Or a blue check shirt. There you go. Amazing. Alright. Well, WJR, the premise of that movie, I guess, sounds good. You can only the, pr the premise of the movie upgrade. Hey, Phil. Here's cool. where you'll see a top-down view of your career at Horizon. Oh. Each tile represents another way for you to make a name for yourself here at the festival. Oh, now's the perfect time for me to finally look at this for the first time, isn't it? <laughs> what the fuck? British Racing Green? What the fuck is this? You have to be at level 50? Oh my god! There's actually another story thing where you have to be level fucking 50? Dude, I'm never doing that one. What the fuck? That is the dumbest thing ever. Are they stupid as hell? Level fucking 50? Alright, world map. <clears throat> That'll bring me all the way over there. Alright, let's do this one. Cross country series. It'll bring me over there. Then I can go head north and hit up all these boards and then head into the city. There you go. Turn around. 
turn around when it is safe to do so. Do I have any Morgan cars unlocked, SDJ Bruno? I don't even know what that means. I don't know what the hell that is at all. Oh, it looks like I leveled up and I got another wheel spin unlocked. Yeah, Anani Genevieve says that the Fargo series on uh, on Hulu is really good. Yeah, I've never seen it. I've never seen Far the Fargo TV series. I think it's on demand on Netflix. I think I can watch it. You have arrived at your destination. Okay, here we go. What are we driving? Oh my god, I gotta drive the fucking stupid beetle that sucks. Oh no. Third on the third cheer. He said, any plans on me visiting the family for holidays or them visiting me? Um, the answer is no. Obviously, I can't visit them. I have no money to do so and I need to work. And they can't visit anymore because they're older now and they are actually not mobile enough to even come out here and visit me. I'm serious. They can't anymore. So it sucks. Eventually, I'd like to head over there, but no, fuck you. Eventually, I would like to head out there and see them again, but I can't right now, you know? So this is going to be a, sh a shitty race because we're all driving shitty beetles. Dude, explain why Moonwalk is fucking faster than me. We're in the same goddamn car. We're in the same car. But his is faster than mine. Okay. I think it was something you had to meet for 100 bits here. You're now tied for three people. Oh, great. Three people who all got the same, uh... Oh, my God. Wow. Well, the same top cheer. Poopster wants to know, is it tough being away from Connecticut? Well, I'll be honest. Two things. Yeah. Seeing my parents, being with my parents for the holidays, or at least spending some time with them during the holidays, and uh, not being able to do the local things that I love, like the local zoo there is really awesome, the food, the Italian food out there is really awesome. All that stuff is, is tough to be away from, but honestly, you know, I've got a life out here now. I'm used to living out here, all my local fun stuff that I like out here, living out here and everything, the climate out here, everything is better for me, so, you know, this is my home now. Shout out to Hoyan Hall, who did a 28-bit cheer. Thank you, Hoyan Hall, for the cheer. God damn this snow. This snow makes the race so freaking slow. Look at this bullshit. How are you passing me? We're in the same fucking car and the same fucking part of the thing, and he passes me. What the fuck? It's no sense at all. I barely hit that checkpoint. Oh my god. Fourth place. I can't catch these guys. These guys are on like dune buggy style. I can't really catch them. Right, for some reason, I am catching them now. Hazard in first. I'm trying to pass it, but urgh. this guy's tire is locked with mine. All right, so Honey Hall just proved that he's a troll. A super ban. Where the specimen did a hundred bit cheer. He's a transgender pride flag. <laughs> DJ Runo says, can you not tune your car to get an advantage? I mean, I guess you can. But what's supposed to happen is all the cars in these races are supposed to be of equivalent level. So, like, my car should be very similar to theirs and vice versa. That's bullshit, by the way. How the fuck did I lose control of the car in midair? Stupid. Dude, what the fuck is going on? He's, look, we're hitting the same road. 
But my car's losing control while, while theirs aren't. What the? What the fuck? We're hitting it exactly the same way, but my car's losing control. This makes no fucking sense at all. It's bull complete bullshit. The same cars are hitting the same exact parts of the road, and yet I'm losing control while they don't. Okay. Stupid. Come on. Can't pass him. Can't do it. I'm trying. Oh my god, I did it! Oh! Wow. Okay then. Wow. That was close. Oh, let's see here. The Lightning God did 245 a cheer to become tonight's cheerleader. And says top five favorite wrestling matches. Man, dude, I couldn't answer that. I definitely think that the, the, the Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart stuff from the 90s was classic. Like, the Iron Man match was really good, but there's been so many wrestling matches now. There's no way I can give you a rundown of that kind of stuff anymore, man. Plus, even though I do like wrestling, I don't really track it like that anymore to say, oh, you know, my ultimate favorite match. I, it's not like that, so... Alright, so I won. Woohoo. What's next? So, like I said, what I want to do is head north. Yeah, I want to hit some of these influence boards over here. And then keep heading this way. And then maybe head up into the town. Okay. WJR says, please skip Overkill's Walking Dead. I've seen it on PC. It's a horrid, buggy, and feels unfinished. A few people I know played it for a while and plan to refund it on Steam. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Yeah, Steam refunds are pretty nifty. I got a refund on The Conjuring House. I did. After playing on Halloween, it was so fucking bad that I got a refund for it. <laughs> that game fucking stunk. Alright. I'm gonna board here. There it is. Well, it's right on the road. Well, that was easy. It was sitting right there. Alright, one right here. Yeah, I've never been playing. It says it doesn't look very good. It'll probably be very generic and on console's even worse, so... Fair enough. I just hit Explorer rank 11. Destination. The fuck did I hit some stupid rock? Three thousand influence. Okay. All right. How about this one? Looks like it's in the woods. <laughs> Over the river and through the woods. around when it is safe to do so. See it over here. Straight ahead. Yeah, it seems like we dodged a few bullets. That game, that game, The Quiet Man or whatever, some people are saying is the worst game of the modern console generation. And Overkill's The Walking Dead not being on console is also a terrible game, so I guess we dodged a few bullets not playing these games. <clears throat> what the fuck? Where is it? You have arrived at your destination. What? Not here. Look, it wasn't even like above me, it's just not there. 
the game is just wrong. It's not there. It's glitched or something. Wait a minute. Is that it? Hold on a second. Is it in a branch up there? It might be in a branch. Well, I guess I'm not doing that. So, uh, DJ Bruno says, Oh my god, you don't have the Super Mega Ultimate early access to play Battlefield 5 today? How could you live with yourself? I know I didn't pay like the super duper crazy so. Ultimate Edition extra money to play Battlefield 5 like a week early. Oh darn. In 400 yards, turn right. Ah. Infinite was here earlier, Swaggins. Swaggins says, I wonder where Infinite is. I haven't seen him in a few days. He was here earlier today. He was my biggest cheer on my first stream, actually. Uh, Alright. I guess we'll go over here, right? Yeah, let's do some of these, I guess. Maybe this one? Road racing in a circle? Let's do that, yeah. Alright, we're off. 